Let's take a look at this example. An automobile and a truck start from rest at the same instant, with the automobile initially some distance behind the truck. The truck has a constant acceleration of 2.1 meters per second squared and the automobile an acceleration of 3.4 meters per second squared. The automobile overtakes the truck after the truck has moved 40 meters. How much time does it take the automobile to overtake the truck? And how far was the automobile initially behind the truck? Okay, so we start with our truck and we know where the truck is so, and we know that it goes 40 meters. So I'm gonna say the truck starts at zero and ends at 40. We do not, however, know the initial position of the car. We are gonna get a negative number on our number line for that, and that negative is just gonna tell us it starts behind the truck. Um, but we first wanna find the time, then we're gonna figure out that X naught. And we have to do it that way, because right now I see three unknowns over here. So I'm gonna have to find the time over here, plug that time in over here, and solve for that X naught. All right, so no V final means I'm using equation number three. So I have X is equal to X naught, which was zero, plus V naught T, which is also zero, plus one half times 2.1 T squared. Now I know my X is 40, so I can do 40 divided by half of 2.1, 1.05 is equal to T squared, take the square root. Um, Whenever you take the square root, remember plus or minus, we know it's the positive time, so we don't really have to do anything there. Um, and you should get a time of 6.17 seconds. Now the nice thing about finding time here, and it being the same in both, is now that I know time, I can find V final. Now that I know time, I can find V final, I can find X naught, you can find everything, and that's what they're gonna have us do here. So now that I know my time, I'm gonna go ahead and solve for X naught. So I have 40 is equal to X naught plus V naught T, but V naught was zero, so that term's gone, plus one half times 3.4 times 6.17 squared. So go ahead and subtract that over. 40 minus whatever this thing is gives me my X naught value of negative 24.76 meters. The fact that it's coming out negative is just telling me that it starts behind my x equals zero or where my truck starts. Part C wants us to go, what is the speed of each of them when they are abreast? So what is the speed when they're at the same location, that 40 meter mark? Um, so I just need to go ahead and solve for these two v's. So I'm gonna use um, the first equation there. So v is equal to v naught plus a t. So all I need to do is put in my 3.4, times my 6.17, and I get about 21 meters per second or so. Um, when I do it over here, I get V is equal to 2.1 times 6.17, um, and this comes out to about 13 meters per second. So yes, the car is moving faster than the truck at that point. Part D, on a single graph sketch, and there's that word sketch, whenever we sketch, we wanna identify points that we know, intercepts, things like that, asymptotes. Um, sketch the position of each vehicle as a function of time. Take X equals zero at the initial location of the truck. Good thing we chose that. All right, so we have our position versus time graph. And we know the initial position of the truck. It starts out there. Um, we know the final position of the truck, it's at 40 meters, and we know the time even for that position. That time is at 6.17 seconds. So we know that location. We know that both the truck and the car are gonna cross here. We know that the truck starts at zero meters, we know the car starts at negative 24.76 meters. We'll do the truck in green, I guess, here. So our truck starts out at rest, so it starts out with a flat line, and we should see it curving up here. The car does something similar. The only difference is the car has a sharper curve to it because it has a bigger acceleration, and concavity tells me about acceleration on position versus time graph. So I might have something like this. When it gets to that point, my blue line, my car, should be steeper then my green line, my truck, and they do match that. Um, I did not calculate this intercept here. Um, if it's not something you've calculated, you don't need to go out of your way to find it um, unless it asks you to in an AP type question. Okay, there's your example.